Parchula snails are a group of snails from the South Pacific. Very, very famous in terms of uh, a part of the Polynesian cultural heritage. Very famous snail from that perspective, but also from a scientific research uh, into evolutionary genetics, they've been a really valuable study species. So for over 100 years, they've been a really famous uh, group of snails. Unfortunately, invasive species, uh, predators, got onto the islands in the late 80s and early 90s and they became a real extinction risk and many species were lost. The conservation response was to set up an international conservation breeding program to rescue surviving species while they were still there so they weren't lost completely from the invasive predators and then to keep them safe in the actual conservation breeding program in zoos around the world and then hopefully get to the stage where we can commence the reintroduction phase of the program. Some 30 years of conservation breeding efforts have been very successful now, so we've been able to get to the stage of reintroducing uh, the snails, and this has been going on over the last few years now. We've had all the zoos contribute to being able to keep a field biologist on the ground, and that's given us the knowledge that how that population has gone through a very high phase of population build-up, which saw those species lost, and then it's gone right down, and now you can hardly see them on some of the islands. So we've been able to track the threat uh, that that species has and now we know we're in a phase where it doesn't present anything like the initial threat that it did present and we're doing the same for other invasives like flatworms as well. Being able to see the program mature through to its reintroduction phase for these little snails is fantastic because we've all put in so many people a tremendous amount of work and seeing all that results now and then back in the trees and moreover behaving really naturally is fantastic. So it's, it's very heartening indeed. What is amazing, having been working with this species for so long, is that we've been involved in rescue collections from the wild when they were going extinct, uh, to now, several decades later, being able to put them back into the wild where they belong. And that's the main aim of any conservation breeding program. It's, it's one of the best things about working here at ZSL that we're able to do that work. And uh, particularly true with this species, Parchula hebe, uh, where we collected the last nine individuals from the wild in 1991 and were able to put them back 25 years later in 2016. Another great thing about this project is that it's not just us working remotely in Europe and America breeding the snails. We are working with our colleagues in French Polynesia, very closely with the government out there to help us do our fieldwork research and directly put the animals back into the wild. And they are known in the local culture uh, because people used to make necklaces from the snails. They're one of the most significant elements of their native fauna on those islands. And uh, them also recognising the international significance of the snails is really important. And working together, we can hopefully secure the long-term future of these highly endangered snails.